G'day everyone, Mycenae here, and we're trying out a Murloc Evolve Shaman deck. This is a generally aggressive deck, as Murlocs tend to be, and we've also thrown in Doppelgangster, which we're hoping to get Evolve off onto. The standard Murloc pack is also in there, and like I said, it tends to be quite aggressive. You know, Murlocs tend to duplicate very, very quickly. You end up with a, a very quick board presence. So, with that said, let's jump in and see what we can get. So we're up against a rogue. Um, and we've also, yeah, got the quest. Play 10 Murlocs, get Megafin. It's a bit of fun. But I'll obviously hold on to that. We're going to get rid of the totem and bloodlust. Might hold on to the totem, though, because we could buff a small hand of Murlocs. So we got Devolve. Um, and Rockpool Hunter, which isn't much use without any other minions, but we'll try. Okay, so we've got double blood loss, so we're just going to throw out the quest. <clears throat> and we'll reassess next turn what we can play. We may just have to totem up for now. See what we get. More bloodlust. Okay, so we're just gonna totem, like just token, um, totemic call, and it's the heal one. That's not ex uh, the spell damage one. So not ideal because there's not a lot of spells going on here. But you know, uh, Undercity Huckster, Bladed Cultist. Okay, I'm gonna go face. Okay. There's a Volve. So I'm not pulling very well. So obviously we don't really want to play him until there's another Murloc on the board. If we flame tongue totem, it's gonna give this two attack, but it's immediately going to like the totem is immediately going to die. Um we can evolve, which is not a good idea. We don't have any forecasts, so the coin's useless and Devolve, I kind of want to hang on to. So I'm going to go with this play and get rid of the Huckster. And yeah. So we still got that 2 3 on the board. Turn 4. We don't have anything that costs 4, but we can Bloodlust. Although we would like to hold on to that until we have a slightly bigger board. There goes the totem, as I said. And we have the doppelgangster. So we're gonna coin. Ooh. Now we might hold on to him because I would like to get evolve onto that. So, hmm. So we might totem up and just deal with losing that. We got the spell damage one again, so that's great. Uh, and turn that is our first Murloc though <coughs> for the quest. Too bad we couldn't pull a small Murloc to buff him. You're immediately going to get rid of that. Okay. And that as well. And get your Jade. Okay. Two to the face. And one more. Okay, this turn we're going to Doppelgangster Evolve. And we need him to... So we're going to Doppelgangster, Coin, and Evolve. Hopefully we get something good. Oh, we got Rathion. Well, we got a Taunt. Get this. So this will deal one damage to all of that. This one will come out unscathed. It will just lose its divine shield. Okay. So next turn we can bloodlust, which gives everything plus three attack. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen damage on the board at the moment. Okay, so we can either Bloodlust and deal 3 damage. This obviously won't deal damage because that's a ba battle cry I forgot. Um, not a reoccurring thing. So I can either Ice Fishing, pull Murlocs, which leaves me with 4, or I can go hard on the damage, which I might... Hmm... I might pull Murlocs, see if we can try and get that quest off. 
So I'm going to throw him down, and then this guy. They buff each other. I'm going to run the commander into you. I'm going to run the six into the face. And I'll, go, I'll keep going face, I think. Okay. Like, I could have cleared the board, but <clears throat> I do want to try and get ahead on the damage. And he is a decently sized taunt. Yeah, you didn't combo him. But you did combo Eviscerate, which leaves one damage on the taunt, which means the Jade's going to go into that. And then he may either... He'll probably clear the War Leader. Because obviously that is the biggest threat at the moment. I don't know. He's going to go with that. And then... <clears throat> into that. Okay, you're going to leave the War Leader alive. Okay. And then summon a 2-1 Defias Bandit. Okay. And that's his turn. The Maelstrom Portal. So we might throw that out. And we got... And a taunt. Awesome. So we got six, seven, eight, nine on the board. Or we can get an extra six damage. So that's twelve. Eighteen damage. Which we might actually do because that will force him very low. Alright, and turn. As I said, this is a very aggressive deck and this is very much proving that point. We have lethal next turn. If he can't pull a large taunt out of his deck or hand somewhere. Um, okay, you're gonna get rid of my taunt. Okay deal with the taunt, and then he's going to try and deal with my board. Okay. I've still got six damage and conceded. So there you go. That is a very good example of how aggressive this deck can be. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.